Good morning, Facebook. I'm Erica Fernandez with CCIC Communications, and we are live in the classroom today at Clear Creek Intermediate School and Miss Mackey's seventh grade uh, science class today. Uh, Miss Mackey, thanks for having us. What are you all learning about right now? We are starting to learn about plants, and we're looking at external forces and how those forces help um, influence a plant's growth. Mm -hmm. So today the students are going to plant a seed in a cup, and they're going to choose which external force that they want to influence the growth of the plant. So they can choose gravity or they can choose sunlight. Mm -hmm. And then over the next two weeks, we'll be watering them and nurturing them and watching them grow. We're going to put them in a greenhouse out in the hallway. That way the entire school gets to walk by. And already this morning, the kids are like, oh, y'all doing the plant activity today. <laughs> so they remember it from previous years. So they can see the progress throughout the exactly. next few weeks. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So why is it important for the students to kind of learn this process of how a plant grows and everything? Well, again, Nate, plants are all around us, and they're the reason we're, you know, li living and breathing oxygen <laughs> today. So it just helps the kids understand that there's other forces out there that affect other organisms other than just us, because mm -hmm. we're, we're, we know exactly what goes on with us, but not with plants. And so the kids enjoy learning about the plants and that they move and have processes very similar to us. Perfect. All right. Well, we'll let you get started. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. How are y'all doing today? You good? All right. I, I get you. It's Thursday. We're a little tired. So what we're going to do today, we're going to be planting a seed inside a little cup, and you're going to be taking this seed, and we're going to watch it grow. Now, I did one yesterday just to get it started, and guess what? It's already starting to sprout. The seed, I know the emergent seedling is starting to pop up out of my soil. So I was like, oh, yeah, I got a baby plant, okay? So what you're going to do is... Uh, We've got a cup. Now, these cups have holes in the bottom. Why do you think we need to put a hole in the bottom of a cup? We need it. Yes. Phelan. Mainly for the root rot. Yeah, we want to avoid root rot. We want the water to drain so that the roots can have a, a oxygen and ability to grow. So when you come up here in the, in the soil, there are little cups. All you got to do is just, it's like you're cooking at home. You want to get some flour. You can get some dirt. You can dump it about halfway into your cup. Now, you're going to take this cup and you're going to tamp and push that dirt down. We want compact dirt. The compact dirt will provide some sustainability and some security for the seed. Now, in these little beakers are your seeds. Now, you don't realize that we eat seeds every day. So if you eat beans, you're eating a seed. So we're gonna take this, this is a bean seed, it's called a lima bean. You're gonna push it just long ways, right? So there's, when you push it in, you're gonna take the length of the seed and you're gonna push it into the soil a bit just to make sure it's kind of standing up on its own, okay? And then what you're going to do next is get some more soil. So you're going to scoop a little bit of soil and do the same thing. Then you're going to push it down. You want the seed completely covered. So make sure the seed is not poking out. If it is, put on some more dirt, okay? Now, I've got my little cup ready, okay? Now, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take the water, and this is the fun part, you're just going to squirt about 25 squirts of water. So as you just count them, you're going to squirt, 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 squirt. The reason is we want the water to seep down into the soil. Do you remember what type of resources seeds need to emerge? Do you remember? Sunlight to keep the water warm or to keep the soil warm. And what else? Water, yeah. So what is the little seed going to do with the water? Absorb it, yes. We, it's like a sponge. The seed's going to absorb all that water, and that water is going to help get that chemical process going in that seed. And within a few days, what's going to pop out the top of the dirt? Do you remember what comes out the top of a plant? The shoots. And what goes down in the soil? The roots. We're going to have shoots and the roots, right? Now, what two forces are we going to look at to see to influence how our plant grows? Gravity and sunlight, exactly. So outside on the little mini greenhouse, the top part, you can see that light's really bright. That's going to be your sun, okay? So you're going to either take your plant, you're going to stick it on the rack with the sun, or if you want to see how gravity affects it, you're going to turn it on its side, okay? And then we're, over time, we're going to see how the roots, because believe it or not, the roots like to grow off these holes, and the shoots and see how they affect it, okay? Now, while we're taking turns doing this, um, people, will let, I'm going to call you up a, a, about three or four at a time. Then you're going to be working on the back side of the worksheet, okay? And don't forget to be using your green workbook to help you, your mem art to help you with the drawing and answering questions, okay? So you have everyone ready to go? You good? Okay. So I'm going to have you four come up first, okay, if y'all don't mind. 
And again, there's four stations. I've got four bottles of water. I've got the soil. And if you get wet, there's paper towels for cleanup. Now, I need to get a Sharpie. You need to write your name on the pen, I mean, on the cup, okay? So we get a couple Sharpies for you. All right. So, Aniston, you come on up. Here's the Sharpies. Write your name on the cup so I know who you are. And then come on up. So pick on this side. Karen, you're on the other side, and Lily, you're over here as well. So just come on up and, and start. Put your name on your cup first. There you go. Fantastic. And then start packing your soil. All right. So we'll get y'all, uh, y'all be able to go up there. I'll let y'all, unfortunately, go last just because you're not able to be an idiot, okay? All right. So you're going to work on the back side of the worksheet, okay? So flip over the worksheet. And I'll be glad to help you, okay? That's perfect. You did a wonderful job. You did great, Nicole. Wait, what you help with? You still like go up? Okay. Yeah, you're 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 just, yeah. You get to go up. So I'll let you go up with with Daisy. We'll get you up. Yeah, this is the table that can't be recorded, but you can if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Hey, Angelina. How are you today? So I'm going to sit you right here. We're having a Facebook Live right now. So have a seat right here, and I'll get your, your assignments for you, okay? So what we're doing, we're planting a seed. So I'll put you up with another group, and I'll let them help you show you how we're going to plant our seed, okay? Put your name date class on this. You're going to read the directions and leave food front. And while you're waiting, you can answer the questions on the back. And I'll get your green workbook. Perfect. So you're going to be using this information on the back of the assignment to help you out, okay? Yeah, just put your stuff up here out of the way. Perfect. Thank you, Angelina. Good to see you. All right, you ready to put it outside? Okay, let's go outside. Yay. So if you want phototropism, we're actually going to start over here. Phototropism is here, and then down here is going to be your geotropism. So this is the one I did yesterday. This is the one I did, and look, it's starting to sprout. See it? We got a little sprout popping up on it. So we're going to take these, and you're going to either lay them down on the side or put them up right in this is it tray. possible to do both? Like, if you put it, like, in the sunlight and you put it You could, but it, it's, mm -hmm, it would. So we're going to either choose photo or geo. So whichever tray you want, just put them on the trays. There you go. Thank you, ladies. All right, good job. So we're going to keep watering these, okay? All right, I'm going to have uh, you four come on up next, okay? Not you yet. You're going to go with so come on up, and you're going to plant, okay? So put your name on your cup. Okay, hang on to it real quick, okay? All right, so we're going to fill it up. Put your name on your cup. You come over here, Colt, right here. So put your name on the cup, and then scoop the soil, okay? Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate it. This is my sample. I'll leave it right here. Yes.
So by the end of the day, this will be filled because Mr. McDonald, the other seven play teacher, is doing this as well. So it's going to be that whole thing has to be filled. And when they grow, you can have green going everywhere. It's going to be pretty fun. <laughs> pretty fun. All right, that'll wrap up our time here in Ms. Mackey's 7th grade science classroom. We'll see you guys next time.